Okay, let me show you what's going on under here. So that's the back of my cab. <laughs> Got a custom wiring job using the rotted out back of my cab. And that's the back side of the hole that I'm going to try to repair. And so I'm going to take some measurements and you can kind of see that plate a little better. You can see the filler that pushed out and just kind of see what over time Utah salt and stuff on the road is done to the underneath the truck here. But anyway, let me uh, just let you see what that looks like. Some of the other projects I'm gonna have to work on. Uh, well, I'll get uh, get started on this. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to start cutting. And I'm gonna. I really don't know where I want to cut yet. So I'm going to just mark some rough lines on my uh, panel here. So I kind of know where I'm going to be cutting. So I've got to worry about cutting this piece out and then also I don't want to cut too high in here so I, so I don't uh, cut into the inside of the bed. So I'm just going to be taking some measurements and cutting this panel down. I'll probably cut this out now and get it out of the way so I can get in there to work on that inside there. So I'm going to get my grinder. Uh, I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so that's my grinder with a cutoff wheel. Got my earplugs and my face shield over here. I recommend that if you're going to be doing this kind of work, that you get this kind of equipment. So let's uh, set the camera up and, and let's see if I can show you cut a piece of metal out of the side of your pickup.
Okay, gonna have to put on another disc. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got me another package of wheels here. See if we can't get that out of there. got it out of there you can see that plate now that's what it was hooked on on the side of the bed there that I was having a hard time getting it loose but now that it's out I can get in from this angle and cut this other piece out and uh, then I can start fitting this new piece to it so I think I'll go ahead and do that now uh, and then when I get start to fitting it, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so part of fitting a new panel is reference marks. You see that hole there? And then I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a body, a little bit of a body line right there. And I'm going to use those as my reference marks. So I'm going to cut just across. See if I can just across here. Like that. That keeps me out of this body line here. I miss this hole and I miss the the bottom of the bed but all this will get replaced and uh, then when I have the bed off I'll uh, do the metal work on the outside but for now I'm just going to cut this piece out. Okay. Let's try to get that out of there. transfer that information over to here 
and then you can see hopefully how that's going to go in there so I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll see what it looks like when we weld it in. Okay, I've laid my lines out on my piece. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to cut and cut up this seam and then we'll start fitting it from there. Okay. I've gone and cut it and fitted it, fitted it to the front there, almost to where I want it. Got a pretty good seam there. Now I'm going to take and trace this inside around the inside, and then I'll cut it a little big, and then we'll just kind of work on it to get it to fit where we want it to. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll start welding her in okay so there's the piece it's uh, I've got it marked where I want to cut it so I'm just going to take my cutoff wheel and and cut that out I'm going to cut on the outside of the line just so that I make sure it's a little big and then I can just work it a little bit to make it fit so I have a nice butt joint. So let me try that. I if I held the camera the right way. Okay. So I cut it down. You see that black line? And it's really close. I just need to do a little bit of fine grinding to get a little closer to that line. And then uh, we'll be ready to put it in. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. So let me do some grinding. Okay. I've got it pretty close. Okay. Just wanted you to kind of see what I've been doing. I've got to do a little bit more grinding along the top to get to that line. And maybe just a little bit more down along this side uh, but it's fitting really good I'm liking it sorry about the camera work it's first timer but uh, I'm gonna do a little more grinding a little more sanding and then we'll get to welding on it okay after fiddling it with it for a little while I finally got it to where I like the way it fits and I'm gonna start tacking it in I don't know what the welder will do to my phone so I'm not going to show you welding but I'll tack it up and once I get it all tacked up then I'll film some more uh, but it's taken me probably an hour of test fitting to get it to where I like it and I'm going to go ahead and burn it in. Okay, show you what it looks like on the inside, just tacked. That's the front. And then, I don't know if you can see, oh there we go. That's the inside. So, looks pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and just jump around and do some tacks. Let's look at it from the outside there it is there it is that rust hole's been there for a long long time I've been wanting to fix that for ever and there it is so we'll have some more videos when we get into the metal finishing of it but that's fixing the rust hole okay so there you go that's the rust repaired. That big hole that's been there for 40 years is gone. Hopefully it'll never come back. Uh, I've been working on this for a couple of hours. My, my advice is go slow, fit it, refit it, make sure it's where you want it before you burn it in. Another tip is when you're grinding, 
when you're grinding that much weld, you want to move around just like you do when you're tacking it in so you don't get, uh, you can warp your panel by grinding on it too much, getting it too hot. Not a lot of warpage in that, anyway. And then there's my welder. It's a SP135 Plus made by Lincoln. Uh, it's got argon and I'm um, just an amateur welder, but if you practice at it, you'll get it. So that's that one. Uh, there's a bunch more. There's some on the hood. There's some stuff inside the bed. Uh, there's the floor. There's cab mounts. There's all kinds of stuff we're going to be doing to this truck. So there'll be a lot of videos showing me doing different things on it. But that's this one. Thanks.